What's up guys, Warnock Revolution here, back at you with another nickel hunting video. And we got this box to look through. Not seeing anything ender-wise on this side. Just checking it out again. Definitely a circulated box, so that's always good. I mean, I don't know what's under this little hole thing. The one little piece that's right through there. It's just a newer nickel, so that one's no good. I don't know if you guys can even see this really that well, but... Got some Monticello's like right here. That looks kind of old. But we're gonna flip this and see what's on the other side for Enders, and I'll be back with you to look at that. So guys, I flipped the box over, and I'm not really seeing very much. I've got some older-looking Monticello's, but nothing I'm gonna go check out because I never know if they're 60s or not. So I'm just gonna start up here, work my way this way, and hopefully we'll find some good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the first find. So we are on the very first roll, very first find. Three coins in, we found ourselves the 1939, which is awesome. Because if it's got a mint mark, it could be a really low minted coin. But let's figure out what it is. Alright, it's just a 1939 Philly. But we can still check for the double die reverse on the Monticello. On the word Monticello and on the word 5 cents. There could be some doubling. But based on what I'm looking at right now, I don't see any doubling. But still a 1939, very nice coin. Let's continue and see what else we can find. Roll number three, we found something. 1957, out of Philly. I'll take it. Roll number five, just started getting into it. And we got a 1941 Philly. Awesome. Roll number six, at the very end, we found something. 1948 Philly. Awesome find. Roll number seven. We found something. 1957, Denver. Awesome. Roll number nine. Got our first Canadian. Crowned Queen. Probably 1990. Oh, it's from 2000. I'll take it. Roll number 11, guys. We got something. 1955. I thought it was a 53. 55, Denver. I'll take it. Roll number 12, I didn't notice this until I was at the very end of the roll. I just went through all these other nickels. But I didn't notice this. But this is probably a war knuckle right here. Yep, it is. I knew because of the coloration. Definitely a different color from the normal nickels. More of a tannish color. But 1943. Let's see what the mint mark is. Oh, it's a 43D. You gotta be kidding me, man. 43D is like the rarest war necklace you can get. Right there, below 25 million minted, 1943D. It's a good one. It's a real good one. It's not in the best of shape for sure. It's got some like dirt up here or something. Maybe I can get that off with some water. But uh, still a war knuckle. Still a rare one. I'll keep it. Roll number 14, guys. I really wasn't expecting this. Um. Not two coins in. I didn't even see it in the roll, but it's pretty thin. It is a buffalo, as you guys saw earlier. It is a dateless one. I don't know if I can make out the date. Maybe 1929. Maybe. Or 23. Looks like it's a two. The second number looks like a two. But the third number, I'm not sure what it is. You know, it's 19 something, but it doesn't have a mint mark. Still a buffalo, though. Still awesome. Love finding these for sure. Got Nicodate, so maybe I'll show you guys what it is in the end. And the wrap up, we'll Nicodate it together. But that's awesome. War Nickel, Buffalo. This is this is a good box automatically, but we're not. You know. We've got plenty of rolls left. I am really curious to what else we get in this box. Maybe we'll even find a V-nickel. Still in roll number 14 where we found that buffalo. We got this 1940 Philadelphia. I'll take it. Still in roll number 14. We got this 1957 out of Denver. Awesome. Roll number 20. I noticed this one's got some older patina on it. Plus the Monticello looks old. Let's flip it and see what it is. 
1949. All right, I'll take that for sure. It's got a lot of detail still left on it. Cool. Still rule number 20. We got ourselves a 1955 Denver. Awesome. Still on roll number 20, we got another find, 1954, Denver. Beginning to think this is some kind of collection dump. Maybe it was swirled together with a bunch of other nickels. But you don't find stuff like this every day. Roll 21 just opened her up, and we got a 1956, Denver. And I'll take it. Still in roll 21, we got something, 1958, Denver. It's in pretty poor shape, but it's still awesome. Roll number 23, we got something right here. It looks like we got something right here too. we pull this out first, 1941, Philly. Awesome. But this is just a tannish color with a Denver mint mark, so let's see what it is. 61. All right, so I won't be taking that, but the 41 was good. Let's just see what else is in here. Anything? Really thought that uh, Denver mint marked coin was going to be something good. But we got nothing else in that roll. Let's continue. Roll number 24, we got something. 1941, Philly. Awesome. Roll number 25, flip the camera on because this definitely looks old. Probably from the 40s on how wiped the Monticello is, but we'll find out. 41 Denver, I'll definitely take it. Roll number 26, guys, we got something. 1953, out of Philly. Cool. Roll number 28, at the very end of the roll, we got a 1955. Denver. Awesome. Roll number 29. Got ourselves a 1958. Denver. Alright. Well guys, this is roll number 32. You got a black one in here. Right there. I don't think it's a war nickel, but it's black. Let's see what it is. Definitely looks to be newer. <laughs> yep, 1992. Just thought I would show you that, just because you never know what it's going to be. Is there anything in this roll, though? Always look, on, look for these, Let's see if I can see that speared buffalo or bison or whatever you want to say. And nothing, unfortunately. Roll number 33, guys. We got something. 1952. San Francisco. Which is a low mintage coin. Awesome. Below 25 million minted. It's not in too bad a shape either. There's a dent up here, but definitely don't find these San Francisco mints too often. That's good to find. Let's continue. Well, guys, this coin was actually an ender. It's this one right here. Didn't notice it was an ender. Probably because it's in such good shape. 1946, out of San Francisco. I mean, the backside's in pretty rough shape, but San Francisco. You know what that means? This is a low mintage Jefferson nickel, below 25 million minted. So definitely a harder one to come by. And it's not in bad shape either. The backside's definitely got some nicks in it for sure. But this one is in decent shape. That's sweet. Roll number 35, we got something. 1959, Denver. I'll take it. Roll number 38. Got this Canadian here that's just colored. It's a newer one, so it's magnetic, but it's the date. 2009. Alrighty. I actually haven't been showing you many Canadians, but I just showed that one just because it's discolored. Um, but yeah. Let's continue. Not a few coins after that Canadian. We found this 1949 out of Philly. Alrighty. Awesome. Roll number 39, guys. We got something. 1956 out of Denver. 
sweet. Roll number 43. This looks like it's definitely old. And it's out of Denver. I almost didn't think it had a mint mark, but it does. It's very faint right over there. But it's a 52 Denver. I'll take it for sure. Did I see something else old in here? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Here's one. 1940. Out of Philly. Another awesome find. This one's really beat up. Looks like 1960. Hopefully it's a 64. Because I really don't care. <laughs> if it's 60s, I don't really care what date it is. But let's just look through this roll. See if there's anything else in here. Well, we got the camera rolling. And there is something else in here. 1946 out of Philly. Awesome. And do we got anything else? Doesn't look like it. Let's continue. Roll number 45, guys. We got ourselves a 1947 Philly. Awesome. Roll number 47. We got an oldie, but a goodie. 1942. That's in really rough shape. Really smoothed down. Has been well circulated. But. It's got a mint mark, and it's Denver, so it's a hard one to find. Uh, lower mintage than normal. It's below 25 million minted, so that's right there. But yeah, good find. Let's continue. Roll number 49. We got ourselves a 1940 Philadelphia. Awesome. Anything else? Nothing else. Let's continue. So guys, this is the wrap up of the video. What we got is a 1952 out of Denver, a 1953 out of Philly, a 1954 out of Denver, three 1955s out of Denver, a uh, 56 out of Philly, um, a 57 out of Philly, two 57s out of Denver, two 58s out of Denver, and then one 59 out of Denver. For 40s, we got a we got three 1940s out of Philly, three 1941s out of Philly, one 1941 out of Denver, two 1946s out of Philly, a 47 out of Philly, a 48 out of Philly, and two 49s out of Philly. We got a 1939 Philly. We got a 19. 42 Denver, which is actually a low minted coin below 25 million minted. And then we got a 1952S, which is also below 25 million minted. We got a War Knuckle, the rarest of the War Knuckles, a 1943D. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's got a big black spot up there, but the back is semi decent. The color is not very tarnished, so that's why I'm saying it's pretty good condition. We got a buffalo, I believe it's 1923. It's not really showing up on camera that well. But maybe if I get it in the right lighting, you can see it. Pretty sure that's 1923. It has no mint mark. It's still a really nice coin to get. Definitely don't get a lot of buffaloes. For Canadians, we got a uh, two 1986s, one 1998, two, uh, two 2000s, and one 2009. And so altogether, it was a really good hunt. We got two low mintage coins. We got a war knuckle, the lowest mintage war knuckle you can get, and a buffalo from 1923. Those are awesome, plus a bunch of older 40s and 50s coins, as well as the 39. So yeah, it's a very, very good hunt. I really do like how it went. It was a really good box. And I'll definitely be going back to those banks to try to get more stuff like this, because this is what I absolutely love. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please smack that like button. It really helps out the channel. And I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below your thoughts of the hunt. And subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.